Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is going to be a different one than you're used to but we're going to talk about fasting and in this case prolonged fasting because I just started a 7 day fast. That's right, I'm going to take you on the 7 days, how it's going to feel, how it's going to be, explain a little bit about what is fasting, how does it work and why is it so healthy and what are the myths around fasting that are just not true. So thank you so much for being here, let's kick it off, 7 day water fast. There we go. Hi there, my name is Maurice Zondag and I'm a health nutritional ketogenic lifestyle coach and I help people to find and create the best life they desire. I focus on leadership, on your building your life and of course building your health. I was so unhealthy. I was overweight and I've already lost around 15 kilos or 30 pounds last year during the pandemic, the first wave, right? I started with the ketogenic diet. I started using intermittent fasting and that already had got great results. But I kind of like plateaued on this 89, 90, 98, 100 kilos. And I want to dive below that. I want to lose another 10 kilo, uh, kilograms. So I need something to boost myself. And I've just read some great studies about fasting and specifically extended fasting, right? Like more than 60 hours. I've done 60 hours before and that's like two and a half days, which is also crazy. 60 hour fast, right? 60 hours not eating sounds like crazy, but it is actually good for you because we have five stages of fasting. You know what's happening during the fast that we can go over in this video and I'll explain exactly what's happening there. And hopefully during these seven days, I can experience myself how it feels like not eating for seven days for a whole week, just drink water and, you know, mix it up with some supplements to stay healthy. There are a couple of things your body can create itself. For example, energy. Your body can create its own energy because you have fat, right? If you're overweight and even if you're not overweight, you have fat reserves that are being used you know, four times when you don't eat. That's just how our biology works from like 10,000 years ago, right? You didn't have a McDonald's there every uh, around the corner or a supermarket where you can buy any types of food. No, you just run out of food sometimes. So you need to store energy for later use. And the funny thing is that you actually, while fasting, are becoming more focused, more sharp. And that makes sense because when you did get hungry back then, right? You didn't want to feel foggy. You want to be extra alert to find food. So your body's actually designed to help you create that feeling of energy and 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 and, and really focus on, on the things that you need. So your body has actually two energy sources it can use. It's either glucose or it's ketones. Now glucose is, you know, being extracted from carbohydrates. So the carbohydrates are turned into glucose into your blood. Your bloodstream takes on these, these glucose and, you know, that raises your blood sugar level. Now, we all know this principle, specifically if you're diabetic and you need insulin to lower that amount, right? So that's what your, what your hormone insulin does. It peaks, it takes out the glucose out of your blood, puts it into the cells for energy, but it also stores a part of that glucose as energy. And it can either store it as glycogen in your liver or it can be stored as fat in your fat cells. Now that's like the unlimited storage you have, right? There are, there's no limit to your fat storage. And that's pretty smart because you know, times can get tough. Now when you metabolize fat, so when you're not eating and your blood sugar doesn't rise, so insulin isn't there, your body starts creating ketone bodies out of this fat metabolism. And it can use Keto, ketones, right? Like that for, for regular use for your brain. Your brain is like having that as a preferred energy source even. So that's great. But your body can also create glucose to maintain the blood sugar level that your body needs. So in that case, it can create it also from fat or it can create it from protein. Now, the big the biggest myth is that you will lose muscle mass while fasting, but that's not what's happening. Yes, your body is using protein to, you know, to, to metabolize it to glucose. But that doesn't mean that you're eating your muscles. One of the biggest resources of protein is actually your skin and that it's made from protein. So what's happening during this fasting period is this principle called autophagy. And autophagy is a, a, is a, is a state where your body starts regenerate cells as energy. So it's like cleaning up the, the, the old cells that's not, you know, beneficial anymore. 
and that can be also ex, ex, you know protein that isn't being used anymore so like excessive skin for example so you're actually eating your own body and um in in a good way right and of course there's a lot of fat storage so why would your would your body break down muscle which will help you perform and leave this, the fat alone no it's going to eat the fat primarily and you know use the excessive protein that you have as the glucose so to maintain your blood sugar level it's pretty smart system this whole body thing right it it takes care of you but you know in these days where there's so much food we just don't know where to start and it keeps feeding 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 but when you're feeding you can't be fasting it's either the one or the other right that makes sense you're not making a reservoir with something that's going to drip out of it uh, at the same time so you need either to fill your fat or you have to burn the fat that's either state that you can be in feeding or fasting and i'm in fasting right now so um, what i do is that i uh, use this seven day fast um, to lose weight to experience how it feels and you know what it does with my body just to see what's happening there what i also do is i supplement myself with the right types of food or the right types of nutrients that i need in my in my body right there are things you can make yourself and there are things your body can't make like vitamins for example so we need to supplement a couple of things and one thing that i'm using is electrolytes it will make sure that i don't have headaches and that my body can perform there are things like magnesium potassium calcium vitamin c sodium and green tea that's what's in here um, but i'm also using these exogenous ketones now just like I said, the ketones that your body creates when you're burning fat, you can also drink ketones, exogenous ketones is what it's called, right? I have this here, it's a powder, you can mix it up with water and you can drink just the water and you kind of like drink liquid ketones. And in this is not only the, 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 the ketones, it's got vitamin B6, B12, calcium, magnesium and sodium. So I'm getting a lot of that as well. Um, and I can use it as well. But the funny thing is with ketones, if you're drinking ketones, you're suppressing your hunger. This hormone, which creates hunger, leptin, is, you know, a signaling hormone, right? Just, okay, so guys, we, we, we don't have any food left, so let's eat. But when you're having ketones, you should, yeah, there's no use to eat, right? Because there is energy actually for a lot of things in your in your body it's a preferred type of energy um because it takes longer to burn it's more effective to burn so we can use that fat as our energy source but to get into that state of the of the ketosis state i'm like i like to use these ketone bodies and just to get in there more easily so it won't be hard so let's see how it goes and i want to take you on this experiment so little update we're 22 hours into the program yeah feeling pretty good actually and and we're i've talked about the stages right that you're going through in this in this fasting and there are actually five stages and i've already covered three of them so the first stage is the feeding stage you know the stage where you between one hour or zero hours and four hours where you're still burning the food that you've been eating the second stage is the post-absorptive stage and that stage is from about four hours to 16 hours. And that is called the stage where um, your liver is producing the glycogen, right? The, the, the glucose from your liver. So you can use that as energy. But it's also the stage where the insulin drops. So that's a good state, right? Probably right now in about 22 hours, I'm out of insulin. It's low, it's super low. So I'm turning into fat burning. And that's actually the third stage, which is called the glyconeogenesis state. And that's from 16 hours to about 30 hours. Now, that's also the stage where the, the, the autophagy starts, right? What I talked about, talked about like the, 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 the eating up the old non-usable cells anymore, the, the zombie cells are they called as well. Um, so that's pretty much the state I'm right now in. And I'm feeling pretty good, not hungry. So that's good. And, you know, let's keep on going so it's 41 hours i'm actually now in phase four of this whole fasting period and i'm feeling pretty good i'm uh, you know still drinking my ketones so that helps me in the hunger in the mornings it's now what time is it it's half past two so it's uh, after lunch which i didn't have of course <laughs> And that's kind of weird, right? You, you have to make sure that you also take a break on, on, the, on the work that you do. So thanks, and I'll check in later. So it's day three 
already. I'm at 65 hours at the current moment. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Um, I'm having hunger attacks or attacks like you feel the hunger sometimes. But then like in 10 minutes or so, it's it's gone and I keep drinking my water and my electrolytes. So it's going pretty good, actually. I'm feeling very sharp. I'm, you know, can concentrate on things. I get a lot of work done. So I'm feeling great, man. It's it's incredible what this does, right? It's so strong and that my body is already going so strong with this. So yeah, I'm full in ketosis right now, right? That's the fourth stage of this whole principle. And this fourth stage is called ketosis because your body is burning the fat. Being in the state of ketosis where these ketone bodies are being created, that's really helping me, you know, being focused and feeling good and not having any headaches. Yesterday a little bit, yesterday evening, but just you know, drink water and that will go away. And having these electrolytes helps as well. So yeah, doing pretty good. So let's keep moving. So we're at day five of the seven day fast and it's going pretty good. I'm actually feeling great today, much better than yesterday actually. It seemed that I was kind of lacking in my electrolytes. So I had to change that and you know, took some some salt and some more electrolytes from my from my little tube there, so that that really helped, especially today. So I decided to have a tablespoon of salt. Right there, it is. Right, you need your natrium, you need your salt. So I have this Himalaya salt, that which is the better ones, I guess. So let's have that. Mm. It's not that bad, actually. I like salty food. <clears throat> but to have a teaspoon like that, it's it's intense. <laughs> but I'm doing great. I'm over 100 hours. So less than two days, right? Um, or a little bit more than two days on Saturday. It's today, it's Thursday. So yeah, until Saturday. But I'm good everything's going fine. So I want to just give a little explanation on what's happening, right? What is actually happening inside my body right now during these seven days fast and especially this fifth day. Um, so I already told you about the five uh, phases, right? I'm now in phase four and I'm not gonna in go into phase five because that's after the week but for now it's it's the state where you know are really deep into ketosis so i'm running fully on ketones right now which means that the glucose level in my blood stayed at like the five grams you normally have in in your in your blood right the one teaspoon of of glucose you have in your blood um and my liver is creating that from its reserves right that came back in the first two days when there is glycogen in your liver it can be used as energy for your for your cells so that's that's one thing and now my fat and my uh, protein is being used as uh, as the source for this this glucose in your blood level so your fat actually is being transferred into uh, glucose and your protein can be used for that. So especially protein gas, that's easier to metabolize into glucose. So that's why I don't feel lightheaded. That's why I, you know, feel, feel perfectly fine. And of course, all the other cells that, you know, do not really need glucose, but can also use ketones. That's how it's uh, working right now. So everything inside my body except for the cells that need the glucose only right there are cells that only need glucose well that's why i have my blood sugar level as it is and the other cells can use the ketones including your brain so that's the mental clarity that i'm feeling right now as well i it's what i what time is it it's half past one right now you know i've been working all morning and i was totally focused on the things that i needed to do i wasn't distracted by anything else and that was yeah it's amazing it's it's it feels really good so feeling good mentally good it's one of the benefits of fasting and especially during a uh, long-term fast like this you really get deep into ketosis so that's that's what's happening and even with the ketogenic diet right you you might know that i'm, I'm following the, the the principle of the ketogenic diet as well as well um you can get into this state but it's a little bit harder because in everything you eat there is carbs there's always carbs right so not saying that you get kicked out of ketosis but it is easier one, one cheat meal right one thing you eat that's ha that has a lot of carbs 
and you're out of ketosis. Um, so you're losing the, those benefits. But you know, that's what's happening with the fasting here. So that's why it's, why it's cool. Now, for the coming days, it's important that I'm going to prepare myself for breaking the fast. So when you're breaking the fast, it means that you're starting up your metabolism again, right? Or your, your, your biodome, your microbiome that needs to do stuff. And in these days that's been, been passed, my system starts doing different things. So they don't need the enzymes to break down the food, right? So that needs to be start up again. So it's not pretty smart if I would go for a big pile of spaghetti with a lot of uh, meat and fat and, and protein and carbs. Uh, your your body just like goes like what the hell is that and it will probably just go down the drain <laughs> literally as fast as it came in so i need to really build it up and i'll start with green vegetable juices um because my body's used to fluids right i'm drinking water all day so it's used to that but add some green to it add some fiber add some some vegetable greens in there and from there I can build it up. So the, the, the standard idea is that you use the amount of days that you have fasted to rebuild your eating pattern, right? So I've then done a seven day fast, so I need a week as well, seven days to build up to the regular food again. And start it easy, right? Start with the fluids, add a little bit of structure to it, but not like put in nuts and put in hard stuff there to start off with of, or high protein, which will also trigger your insulin. And once you trigger insulin very, very uh, hard right now, right? If you, if you, if, if I, in, in this case, if I would eat, for example, a pizza, <laughs> which, you know, would be awesome, but <laughs> that's not the food that you're looking for, of course, especially not if you want to lose weight, because there's so much carbs and so much protein, you'll uh, trigger your insulin highly and it will drain out phosphor from your blood as well and electrolytes get like to the roof. So, that's not good. That's not healthy. That's that actually can damage you pretty pretty much. So that's the phase after the seven day fast. Oh, and <clears throat> I must admit, I already did a peek at the scale this morning. And in these past four and a half days or five days or, or 110 hours, I've already lost three kilos. That's like six and a half pounds of body weight. Now, the most uh, is fat right probably around two kilos of fat and pretty much one kilo of water because your your body remains water when it's needed to process the the carbohydrates as well and it doesn't need it so you know it can go which probably will get back in in the end right so if my if my end result let's say it's like five kilos that i'm losing I might in the week after, you know, add another kilo again. So it's okay. That's part of the, the biology, right? So it sounds great, but um, like losing three kilos right now, but that's not the holy grail, right? It's, it's about losing the fat. That's what's important. And that's also why weight is not so much, not so important, actually. And that comes also from, if you're talking to your personal trainer, you need your fat percentages and your muscle percentages, right? Because fat is is uh, less dense than muscle so that your your muscle is heavier so if you gain muscle because you train you work out you'll actually get heavier which is like what i don't want to lose weight but it's good right so that percentage wise um, should be should be the thing that you're looking for and a good way to measure it yourself of course if you have a scale that says the percentages that's great of course as well but you can also use this like a measurement right and i'll show you you just stand up and you'll put it around your waist make sure you actually do it in your skinny in your in your bare belly right um, but i'm not going to show you like that breathe in breathe out and when you're breathing out you should measure and for me it says now 101 so that's 101 centimeters now a healthy weight a healthy number in uh, for men is around 94 that's right so i need seven more centimeters yeah that that's that's where we're aiming for so i came from 107 by the way which i just realized um starting this adventure or 105 when i started you know this this fast i was at 105 
So I already lost four centimeters, right? That's this amount. So that's great. And once we when once we do this, we got to stay in that mode, right? And that's going to be tr an, an interesting thing as well because your body tries to get back at your old weight. It's a safe system, right? Your body, your brain, everything is built on keeping things as it is, as it is. And you know, adding more even. So, you know, it's better for the future. Because when I was back in 10,000 BC, and I was hunting and I was living my life there and I found something that really like stored more energy, stored more fat, that's good, good right? Because I don't know when I'll eat again, when I'll catch another buffalo or, or eat some berries. So your body is still built on that principle that it will keep building up, but don't want you to lose the weight. So that's why this yo-yo effect is so, so strong and, and a lot of diets don't take this into account. Um, and, and you'll actually gain the weight pretty fast. So I need to stabilize my weight at around, let's say the 94 centimeters waist uh, size um, or even lower maybe, and then just go for that and keep it like that. And that's gonna be tough because I need to reset my normal line from where I was to where I am at that moment. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to cover for today. And um, we're still two days in, so let's see how things are tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's eight o'clock eight in the morning, and I am already awake for three hours. It was crazy. I woke up at 4.30 and was like, um, my stomach was, was growling and, you know, <laughs> like it is for the past couple of days. There's a lot happening there. But yeah, I, at five I was like awake and I thought, well, yeah, I, I can't sleep anymore. I, I wanna wake up, I wanna get up. So I got up full of energy. I was, it was really crazy. Like yesterday I, uh, yesterday evening, I was pretty much tired at, at 10 or 11. And um, so I went to bed and like I said, I'm now full awake full focused i'm already working for two hours and yeah man it's it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy and i'm feeling feeling good i actually thought this morning when i woke up at 4 30 like with the stomach going on like i gotta stop man I, I just gotta eat something or something like that i gotta go back to the old normal right there's something wrong or whatever but no, it's not. And um, I'm 36 hours left in this fast right now. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it to continue, I guess. It's 131 hours already that I'm into this fasting. And like I said, I'm feeling great. So yeah, uh, just keep going on and um, see how the day goes and uh, what happens next. All right, I know I just said that I was feeling great and I'm feeling not too bad, but I did decide to end my fast right now. And it's six days, I'm nearly there. It's like 35 hours or something like that, but I really feel that I guess I'm lacking nutrients. So I feel sharp, I feel focused, but I also feel drained. And um, I guess I'm running on ketone power, right? Which is good, but you also need your other micronutrients. And I think I'm lacking a bit about that. I've, that's my experience in the past week as well, um, right? It's easy to be short in salt or zinc or magnesium. Zinc is actually an example, which is like, takes four days to get out of your system. So you need somehow to get it back into your system. And I'm not sure if I'm doing that enough. So I decided to break my fast. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a uh, vegetable smoothie or not a smoothie, but like a drink. So combine it with water, cu cucumber, uh, spinach, kale, and for the taste, I have some sardine filet. So um, yeah. Uh, curious also how that works. So here it is, my green veggie drink. It's, uh, yeah, let's see how it tastes. I have no idea. Yeah, 
tastes like kale and uh, spinach, <laughs> which is no uh, accident, but it uh, tastes good. Uh, I might mix it <clears throat> a little bit more with water, but it didn't fit more in this. So um, yeah, cheers to you. So it's dinner time. <laughs> Since five and a half days, six days actually, you know, the last time I ate was on Saturday evening, so it's now Friday. So that's six days that I haven't eaten my dinner time. So I'm actually creating now something um, light, like uh, with chicken and spinach and kale. Actually what I did in this morning or, um, with my uh, with my smoothie, with my green drink. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get a bite. It's weird that you don't eat. The not eating part is weird, right? It's, it's like you're missing the chewing. I feel much better right now, right? So it really helps to, to do the, the, green, the green eating uh, today. And um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty, pretty much one of the biggest revelations that I had during this fast, that food is not about the taste. That should be secondary. It should be about the nutrients that you're eating, the things that you're putting in your body so your body can use that to make you feel good, to make you operate, to make you strong, to build, to grow, to keep you young, right? All these things, that's all, you know, comes down to the nutrients that you eat. So yeah, eating bad food, fast food, high processed food, you may not notice it, but it, you know, it makes you feel worse than you can. So if you eat better with the more greens and the more whole food and the, the good quality food, you'll get better fuel, right? And you can operate better, not only with the ketones and, you know, being in ketosis, which is, wow, that was really also these past two, three days, so focused, so concentrated on what I wanted to do. But when I felt not so good this morning, right? When I was like, mm -hmm -hmm, I, I noticed also that my concentration went down because I was focusing on how I was feeling. The hard part was, am I getting enough nutrients? Do I have enough nutrients to stay healthy and stay sharp and stay focused and, you know, operate on a normal way? That was difficult. Um, but that also opened the doors to the question, in general, am I getting the right food? So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much my conclusion of this five and a half days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you got more insight in how you can pr practice fasting as well, being it intermittent fasting or being prolonged fasting. Um, stay hydrated, stay focused on the nutrients and you'll be all right, right? Especially if you're overweight, this is one heck of a trick to lose a lot of weight. It's, three and a half kilos this morning with me, right? Seven centimeters, um, you know, on my belly size. So that's huge in five and a half days. Um, so yeah, thankful for that. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, these types of videos, just, you know, hit subscribe, hit the like. Um, but I'm posting all kinds of, of videos, right? It's about health, it's about wealth, it's about leadership, it's about personal development, what you can do to create the life that you desire. So I hope you like it and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.